Welcome back trainers. So we are going to be taking a look at my sixth Mewtwo raid. So it, this was a, you can't win them all. Let's just say that. So let's, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and play the video here. Do a little bit of commentary and then we are going to check out the battle, okay? So this one was kind of just <laughs> random. I jumped in with a random group of uh, bystanders who were just, who weren't really situated. They just kind of showed up. Which was fine because, I mean, Mewtwo is not that hard to take out if you have 10 people and they're just random people. I mean, you guys can just do it. Very, fairly simple, okay? So, we hop in here. I was trying to uh, determine what moveset it had. Uh, it wasn't too hard. I, I thought it had Focus Blast. I was a little thrown off by what it picked for me. Uh, we'll check that out right here. Golem. So, uh, I was figuring, well pick Gengar maybe it has like um, focus blast but then the golems I was like what so it picked the rock types because well normal types are not very effective to rock so that's there you go all right so going to pick the team I was a little I was chatting it up right so it took me a minute to get my team it was literally right down to the wire you'll see here and I still didn't uh, wasn't able to pick my full team I just had uh, at the very end I had two golems but it didn't really matter they did what they needed to do but I kept selecting the wrong Gengar. And this, you know, sometimes when you're in a raid and you're trying to scroll and pick your team, even though you might have a set team already, just say you're picking a team, all right? Uh, it's a little sticky, a little, a bit laggy <laughs> as you're trying to scroll down. Like right here, I was trying to scroll, it wasn't moving. It kept picking Groudon, you'll see here in a minute. But anyways, with that said, it was still a good time. Uh, chatted up with some Mystics and, and some Valors, you know, hung out for a bit. And, uh, you know, as you get more and more of these EX raids, you uh, start showing up less and less, like, um, on time. Uh, well, I was perfectly on time. I showed up, like, an hour early. I was outside, but you know what I mean. The, the excitement is starting to uh, wear down. And I know there's a lot of you out there who don't have a pass, <laughs> and you are probably just want to smack me for saying that. Um, I'm sorry, you know, the system is broken. That's all I can say. Um, I put in work. I'm not saying, oh, it's broken. I'm getting all these passes. But for other people, I know there's been experiments where they had multiple accounts and one account that had barely any raids compared to the other one that had all the raids. And then the one account that had barely anything got the pass. So let's check it out. I'm just going to do the commentary throughout the whole one, throughout the whole battle here, because why not? So going there with my Mewtwo, doing work. I should have dodged a few more, uh, of the hyper beams, but uh, whatever. I could have almost lasted the whole way with just just this one Mewtwo. So here we are. The excitement is high. What will it be? Like I said, you can't win them all. So <laughs> it is what it is. Let's check it out. Going in, hyper beam. Did I dodge it? Yeah. I got shadow hit a few times. I think. Well, not necessarily shadow hit, but um, just the dodge glitch still all right so Gengar is putting in some good work here definitely with Shadow Claw and uh, Shadow Ball would have liked to have a full team of Gengars in there but that's all right maybe throw in a uh, Tyranitar uh, that would have been nice Tyranitar would have been your best bet all the way Gengar too uh, because Tyranitar not very effective with Psycho Cut looks like that's what it has yeah Psycho Cut and Hyper Beam so yeah Tyranitar all the way here so as you can see, we're a quarter way in to the time and it's already almost defeated. 16 players and easy money, easy money. So next time, if I do get another EX pass, um, I was approached by a few, like a mystic and I know somebody else who wants to do this. If we can all get a pass at the same time, we're gonna try to three man it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but the thing is we all have to get a pass. So here we go into the catch screen. I'm gonna let this play out. It is what it is. Let's go. Let's see what we have here.
there we go. Mewtwo number six, completing a complete team of six Mewtwo. So what I was <laughs> referring to before is you can't always get what you want is the low IV, 78%. It's a Mewtwo nonetheless, and it's perfectly fine that it's a low IV because I, I have a 95. All my other ones are in the 90s, 90s except for one, so uh, we're actually going to go take a look at those in just a second. So, Psycho Cut and Hyper Beam. All right, all right, looking good. So, I will be doing a power-up video soon. Uh, not a Mewtwo, and I, <laughs> I think I already said it in one of my videos, but uh, I'm not going to say it directly quite yet. I don't know if I should go out and do a few more raids to find a better one, or maybe... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But look forward to that. Some sort of legendary powered up is quite obvious. All right. So, yeah. Did it. Mewtwo raid complete. Number six in the bag. Let's go. And believe when trading comes out, don't worry. I'm going to be trading off a few of these for sure if we ever get trading. So, let's go ahead and uh, hop into Pokemon Go and take a look at all my Mewtwo's individually. Shall we? All right. So, let's go ahead and check out all my Mewtwo's here. Highest CP to lowest. So, starting with this one, my top one, 12 attack, 15 defense, and 15 stamina. All right, so this is my highest CP powered up one at the moment. I could power up a few more and get past this because I do have a 95, which we will be checking out here. Second max CP one is 12 attack, 14 defense, and 15 stamina. Not bad. Uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, I can't seem to get over 13 attack so this one is 13 attack 15 or 14 defense and 12 or 11 stamina third highest one and then we have darko 13 attack 14 defense 14 stamina they're all pretty good and consistent it's just do you see this attack i cannot get past 13 let's go we have this one at 14 but i haven't powered it up 14 attack 15 defense and 14 stamina and it will get there don't worry i mean it's obviously my best one now so um We'll have to get to it. So, and my lowest one that I caught today, <laughs> no name yet, 78%, 12, between 12 and 10 attack, 9 and 15 defense, and 11 stamina. So, yep, there we have it. And now let's go ahead and take a look at my Mewtwo's from oldest to newest, shall we? And I keep seeing a lot of comments saying I should use my six Mewtwo to go up against my champ raid. Guys, I've already done that. It only takes three Mewtwo. <laughs> Maybe three and a half. Um, so that video has been uploaded already. There's no point to have six in a Machamp raid unless they're all very low CP. But in my case, they're all powered up, so it doesn't really take much. So video's out already. Machamps or uh, Mewtwo's versus Machamp. It took three. So there's your answer for that. As far as what else can I do? Well, at the moment, there's not too much. If I change them to Shadow Ball, we can do some work on some Alakazams or Gengars. But that's a lot of TMs, so we'll just have to see in the future. As for now, look out for that power-up video coming soon. Take care.